Hi, I'm Julia. I'm a product engineer on the imagery team. Imagery changes the way we see the world. And with more and more tools and data at our fingertips, we can use imagery to see how the world itself is changing. Today, we want to show you some of the new raster analysis tools available in ArcGIS that let you detect, analyze, and predict change over space and time. First, we'll start with the new continuous change detection tool, which we'll use to analyze how land cover has changed in eastern Massachusetts over the past 18 years. Here I have a stack of 286 Landsat images collected in a single image cube. The new continuous change detection tool processes this whole data cube and extracts land cover change. It accounts for seasonality and gradual trends and even snow and clouds. After we run the tool, we have a large raster containing valuable model information. And I can extract training samples directly from the model and use them as inputs to our raster classification tools. The final result is a land cover map for every single slice in our data set. Now, to get an idea of just how much has changed in the last 18 years, I've extracted the very first and the very last land cover map from our time series. And I can use the new compute change raster function to calculate the difference between the two. In the output, we see every possible land cover transition that occurred between the two dates. In black, we see areas that changed from cultivated land to developed. And in red here, we see areas that changed from forest to developed. For example, this cluster of pixels was marked as forest in 2002, but at some point before 2020, this was converted to a housing development. Now we can find out exactly when this transition occurred or if there were any other transitions in between using the temporal profile chart. So we can see that this area changed from forest in 2006, then briefly to barren, and finally to developed in July of 2007. And we can quantify all of these results to see exactly how much of each land cover type co converted to development in all of Eastern Massachusetts over the past 18 years. So now that we've seen how this area has changed in the past, let's take a look at how your corner of the world may change in the future. Our partner Clark Labs has developed a global land cover map predicted out to the year 2050, now available as an image service on the Living Atlas. We can compare predicted land cover to current data to see how urban areas near you may change. For example, let's explore predicted urban growth, which you see in dark red on the right, in Portland, in Glasgow, Kuwait City, Johannesburg, or anywhere else on the planet. I'm now going to hand it over to my colleague Vinay, who will show you how you can use your own predictive analysis to see how things will change using our new multidimensional raster tools. Sea surface temperatures are rising globally, primarily due to climate change. This has unknown effects on multiple ecosystems. Today, I'm going to show you two new multidimensional tools, one predictive analysis and the other one trend analysis. We can use this to perform predictive analysis on sea surface temperature data. For our analysis, I'm going to use an image cube that contains more than 2,000 slices of sea surface temperature data that is collected over the past 35 years. Step one to our analysis, we need to identify temperature trends from the image cube. So I head over to this multidimensional tab, invoke the new trend analysis tool. This tool enables me to extract trend information for every pixel within my image cube over time. I can choose the harmonic trend option, and this accounts for seasonality. The result is a trend raster containing model information. This the red spots indicate increasing temperature trends. This data set or this trend raster is now used as an input into my second new tool, the prediction tool. For the first time, this prediction tool enables you to perform predictive analysis on large scale raster data. You can specify your time intervals, your duration, and create your data set. The result is a predicted sea surface, global sea surface temperature data set that is predicted out to 2030. This processing is done on the fly. Now that we have our results, we can quickly 
perform analysis. For instance, I can pull up my profile and identify ecosystems and regions that are affected by temperatures. So picking a point off of Mexico, you can see cyclical temperature trends or patterns, and this is primarily because of seasonality. However, this red line indicates a trend in increasing temperatures. Now, we could take our analysis a step further, our predictive analysis a step further. Using a series of geoprocessing tools, we could create a time series risk map, which will enable us to visualize prolonged heat stress that is experienced by a variety of different ecosystems. Lastly, using the ArcGIS API for Python and ArcGIS image server, we can distribute and scale our earth science and image cube analysis workflows. All of this right from within ArcGIS notebooks. Those are just some of the new tools and capabilities that's available within the ArcGIS platform for imagery and remote sensing. 